Finally, we are here. The 96th year of advent of Bhagwan Shri Satyasai Baba. And even as I reach this moment, I must say there are mixed feelings in my heart. And I am sure that you will all agree with me that it is the same with all of you as well. Mixed feelings because on one hand it's such a joyous occasion, the birthday of our dear Swami. But on the other hand, it, it somehow brings in a little sadness in the heart, immense sadness at times, that, that beautiful physical form that we loved, that we saw, that we still love, continue to love, is not there amidst us anymore. And this year, 96, becomes even more significant because this was supposedly the year when he would leave his physical form, right? I can't help but travel back to 10 years to the 24th of April 2011 when he actually left his physical form. And it has often perplexed me, made me wonder, made me imagine, think about what could be the possible reason for this and what is the significance behind this. Because dear brothers and sisters, anything that the avatar does Every thought that the avatar has thought is not without a reason. It has a significance, it has a meaning, it has a purpose. When that is the case, having declared multiple times that 96 would be the year for conclusion of the avatarhood, it is not a casual occurrence or a chance occurrence that in 2011, 10 years earlier, the avatar chose to do what the avatar chose to do. As I kept thinking about it, I felt that if I can understand that meaning for the 96th birthday, the meaning behind 96, I felt that that would be my gift for Swami. Because what is the best gift for Swami? Swami says, your bliss is my food. We need to be happy always. That is the only thing that he seeks. And then we need to learn because we need to evolve. The purpose for which the avatar comes is to fill love for God in the hearts of people and make them evolve, realize their oneness with God. And so being happy and learning. These are two things that we need to do if we want to give Swami his favorite gifts. And so for the 96th birthday, I pondered on the meaning of this 96. I cannot claim to have got the correct answer, but I have an answer that fills my heart with joy, that fills my heart with delight, that fills my heart with inspiration, definitely. But before going into that, let me go back the 21st of May 2011. This was barely a month after Swami had left his physical form and I got to know another devastating and terrible news. And what was this news? The news that the Kalpa Vriksha had collapsed. The Kalpa Vriksha is a tamarind tree on top of a little hillock beside the river Chitravati. And it's a very, very, very amazing and blessed tree. Innumerable times Swami has taken devotees or his friends, his schoolmates, classmates up this hillock to the tree and from the branches of the tree he has plucked fruits of their choice. You want an apple? Here's an apple. You want a pomegranate? Here's a pomegranate. And not just fruits, vegetables, not just vegetables, anything that the person desired. In fact, that is the reason why the tree has been called Kalpa Vriksha. Kalpa Vriksha meaning desire fulfilling tree. The actual Kalpa Vriksha is him. When he sits on any tree, it becomes a desire fulfilling tree, Kalpa Vriksha. He is the Kalpa Vriksha. So that Kalpa Vriksha is worshipped, adored, and if you actually would go to the Kalpa Vriksha tree, you would see thousands and thousands of papers tied with ribbons to the branches and leaves and twigs and trunk of this tree. Because 
the people felt that now that I'm not able to give letters to Swami, I can offer my letter to the Kalpavraksha. And dear brothers and sisters, on that day, because of a heavy storm that had happened in the night, which was accompanied by thunder and lightning and lots and lots and lots of pouring rain, the tree had got uprooted. And it was, it was such a sorrowful moment. I felt, oh my God, what is happening? Swami, you left and after that, we held on to something else and that Kalpavriksha has also been uprooted from our life. It had fallen and the railings had collapsed. A few shops below, they had been crushed under the weight of this huge tamarind tree. And one small little stump was left when I went there to take pictures. It was a very, very saddening moment. But then, dear brothers and sisters, fast forward by 2-3 months, the monsoons began in June and July. I just happened to visit the spot again. And when I went there, my heart filled with joy. Because, you know, from that stump that was left, from the middle of that stump, one shoot had come out. And that shoot began to grow. And in a matter of few months, when I went and saw again, it had grown a good 9 to 10 feet. And it had sprouted branches and leaves. And a new Kalpavriksha stood in its place. A young Kalpavriksha, which, which has grown into another massive tree today. And I am sure it will live for decades now. The amazing thing is, on 21st of May 2011, I thought this was another end. Oh my God, it has ended. But no, it was another beginning. New shoots, new roots, new leaves, new flowers, new fruits. Let us not spend, let us not contemplate on the end and feel sad because every end is a beginning. It's a beginning. And that is what I feel about the 96th year. You know what's the speciality of the number 96? Hmm? You turn it upside down, it remains the same. <laughs> and I feel that is the message. Interesting, isn't it? You turn 9 and 6 upside down, it still remains 9 and 6. And I feel, personally, this is a message that we need to understand. Swami is saying that the avatarhood is complete once you learn this message. And what is this message? Let anything come that turns your life upside down. You remain the same. That's it. That is the secret. That is the sthita pragyatma. That is the surrender that we have to achieve. And Swami has again given us so much time. 10 years, one decade in fact. Because one decade ago, on the 24th of April 2011, our lives turned upside down. Everything went topsy-turvy. We were shattered. But then did Swami leave us? No. No. As He left Yajur Mandir, He thumped and entered our Hridaya Mandir, where He will never leave. He will always stay there. And to each and every one of us in multiple ways, He has shown how He is present with us guiding us. We only need to call out to him. We say Swami, he will say Yemi and come to us. If we say Sai, he says Oi and come to us. He is waiting to come to us and if we call him, we can feel him. We can experience him in our life. And these 10 years, I feel, Swami gave us the opportunity and the time to prepare. Prepare so that we become like 96. Turn upside down. I am still the same. And when I say turn upside down, it can happen both ways, positively or negatively. I might get thrown to the zeniths of joy or the nadirs of depression. And yet, I will remain same because I know Swami, you are in my heart. Every end is a new beginning. Every end is a new beginning. That was a lesson I learned from the fallen Kalpavriksha tree in 2011. And now in 2021, this is the message that is being reiterated to me by Swami. Learn the importance of 96. Learn to be steady. Learn to be in equilibrium. Learn to be calm, unaffected. Remain the same even when you turn upside down. That, my dear Bangaru, that, my Dunnapota, will be your birthday gift to me. Swami, thank you for giving me your wish list. Thank you for sharing what you desire from us, that we be happy, that we be equanimous. 
that we be the same even if our world turns topsy turvy yes swami we will be the same because we have you in our heart thank you jai sai ram